You don't know Bad man Yeah, yeah What's up everyone, Wigs to Wasteland here back with another quick wig video. And this one is wig related, but we are not reviewing a wig today. This is going to be a fun collab with Tia Maria every day. If you guys are not familiar with her channel, make sure you head over there to her video. I'll have a direct link in the description box down below. So we are doing if I had my own wig line tag. So big shout out to her. Big thank you for doing this fun video. So I'm going to start off with the questions and I believe there are nine. So the first one is what would your pricing be like? <sighs> I'm going to be real honest. I would definitely be on the higher end for human hair, of course. For synthetic, I would definitely be right around like the 30, 35, maybe the $40 range. Anything higher, you might as well be doing some human hair. Um, so, um, number two, what would the theme aesthetic be like? Daily wear, fashion, cosplay, etc. Mine would be bougie AF really bougie really fancy really like oh she fancy like that type of vibe i would definitely be more on the dressy side when it comes to doing units um number three what would your color scheme packaging be like packaging probably black and gold maybe i'm a fanatic about purple so I would love to put purple in there, but I don't know if I would do it. Um, what would your color scheme be like? Brown girl friendly. All I'm going to say on that. Um, <laughs> number four, if you had to compare yourself to an existing line, who would it be? Wow. Huh. Who would I be? Um, it would be a cross between her given hair Bobby Boss and Sensational combined definitely number five how often would you release new wigs ooh oh interesting um I would say probably once every six months maybe once every six months or once every year and the reason behind that is because I feel if you're constantly doing new releases sometimes you can like repeat stuff and then they all start looking alike and then we kind of get burnt out on your product so yeah I would definitely like to keep it popping and I would probably do a new release six months to a year that would be ideal for me what do you want to be known for? Bougie classic wigs. Yes, definitely. You know, the real that's just me. I'm a girly girl. I love dressing up when I have the budget and I can afford the clothes. I love dressing up, even if I'm just going to the corner store. I love dressing up, it's just always been me. So I would definitely want to be known for that fancy, like, type of line. Definitely. Um, what would set you apart? Brown girl friendly. All I'm going to say on that. Number seven. What would your dream wig company collab be and why? Oh, dream collab. My dream collab would be with who would my dream collab be with? Um, human hair. It would be so far from what I've reviewed, her given hair. Um, and then for synthetic, dream collab. It would be Bobby Boss or Sensational. One of those two. Uh, number eight. Would you give out PR wigs? How would you distribute it or decide who to send it to? 
Definitely. You cannot, I mean, even, even if I wasn't an influencer, you have to understand, you cannot, you cannot have a successful company if you are not reaching the masses. And the best way to reach the masses is to reach out to influencers who reach the masses. Um, so how would I distribute it or how I would decide who to send it to? I wouldn't base it off of numbers, so I wouldn't base it off views or subscribers. I would base it off genuine, sincere personality. If your engagement is there, that is what I look, that's what I would look for. If you have a high engagement, that serves you so much. You can have 500,000 subscribers, but if only 500 people are watching you and only two people comment your, sub your subscriber count means jack now flip side you could have 50 subscribers but get 50,000 views and maybe have 800 people who comment so I don't like to get caught up in the number game because I think when it boils down to it engagement personality and people trusting you is what's going to sell the wig so i could get on my soap box about that with some of these companies but I'm not gonna do that um so number nine would you rather sell the wig line yourself on your own site or through a retailer and why i would have my own site if it's my company I want my hand in like all aspects of it not necessarily control maybe like if I was first starting off then of course it would be a hundred percent me but if I were to grow and become bigger and more well known I would definitely want to have some type of say so in how it's run um, just not complete control over you know duties that I might delegate to someone else. Um, so I would definitely run it on my own, girl. 100% on my own. Um, so um, that is it for this tag. And I think this was really, really, really interesting because I've never seen this tag online before. And I think it's been a while since um, I've actually seen anyone do like an answer question type of video. So big shout out to her for reaching out to do this. This was really, really interesting because um, your girl, you know, my wheels be turning and this, this, yeah, girl, you, yeah. Uh, so thank you so much to Tia Maria every day for doing this collab tag with me. Make sure you guys head over to her channel, check out her video as well as her other videos as well. Very sweet, very genuine spirit to her. Um, so I definitely appreciate her for doing this with me. Um, I hope this brought a little smile to your face. If you are new to the channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button and of course introduce yourself down below. Thank you so much to all of you for tuning in. Make sure you share the video with your family and friends. We are 4K to 40K. And as always, ladies, make sure you keep wearing it with confidence and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.